Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how can you control one LED using our smartphone. So for that, we are going to use the Note MCU version number ESP8266. So let's see the circuit diagram right now. So as you can see here, this is a circuit diagram. So in order to complete this project, we need just two requirements. First one is the Note MCU. I am using the Note MCU version number number ESP8266 with inbuilt Wi-Fi okay and also you need one LED so you can see here on the LED there is the uh, shortest one so shortest part it is also called the uh, ground path that's been negative path and the longest one is called the positive part so this is the uh, lowest one so you can actually connect them into the ground of the node and view and this is the uh, longest one so you can actually set that on the pin number d2 this is called gpio pin simple diagram to you need to actually make that so we are not actually using the arduino id because uh, you can actually control them uh, on our smartphone or you can also control on your web browser so for that you can actually using the arduino id cloud so now let's see how we can actually using the arduino cloud and also see how can you set up that and also upload the code from the cloud to our esp8266 and controlling this led blink on and off so let's see how can I do that. So all right guys, right now you can see here I am on Google. So now I am going to search here Arduino IoT Cloud. Okay. So you can see your first link is actually appeared here. So I'm going to click here for Arduino Cloud IoT. So Arduino Cloud IoT is a platform. It actually uh, configure, program and connect your devices through online. So you can actually uh, connect your devices through online. You can also upload the code through online. You don't need to actually install the external ID. Let's say Arduino ID. You can also control your uh, LED or you can say all kind of devices from your smartphone. Okay. So now I'm going to discuss about that. How can we actually configure the Arduino ID cloud? So first you need to actually create one profile here to sign up with your email. So you can see I actually I already create uh, the my profile using my email. Okay. So you can see this is my profile just uh give me a few seconds to load that so this is my profile okay so now i'm going to click here to uh cloud uh, it cloud here and create one uh things here so you can see here uh, arduino cloud you can also uh, read their documentation full documentation how can I actually use that and how can I actually use them to actually make some awesome things so just get connected now here and it will actually uh, go here another pages and you can see here some things, dashboard, devices, integration, and the templates. So things, if I click at the create things, and you can see here one actual template is appear here. This again, you can see here variables and the devices, the networks. So devices is nothing but our Note MCU. So you're going to use the Note MCU for actually uh, for the devices. You can actually configure them, and also the network. That's mean which network is actually uh, connected. Okay. So I'm going to click to add one variable here. So our variable name is LED because you can actually uh, control the LED from our smartphone. So you can see here select one variable. You can see a basic type of variable. Let's say we actually selecting one variable. Let's call bool LED. So you can do read and write on the variable permission and also variable update policy on change. That's when you're going to write and write. That's when actually uh, pass the data and also take the data from here. Okay. So add the variable. So our variable is right now collected here LED. So now we have to actually configure the devices. So just click on here okay and this Arduino ID cloud actually provides some third-party devices if you're using the Arduino you can actually select them but if you're using the third-party devices because in this case I'm actually using the third-party devices and I made use the Note MCU the version is ESP8266 you can see here already selected map okay you can also select the ESP32 or this one okay and now you need to select the model so in my case my model is Note MCU this one this one is my model okay so that's you need to select them after continue and you need to select uh, actually set here one device name so let's say device name is let's say my channel name let's say knowledge doctor okay i think a space is not allowed here so let's say doctor oh that's fine click here to next and it will generate one security key and also one device id you can you need to actually uh, copy this code from here also you can actually download one pdf here okay so it will download the PDF here and let's save it, okay? And click here to continue. 
So now you can see a conclusion solution, you all are set. That's mean you note MC is right now connected here. Okay. So just click on done. So now you can see here our knowledge doctor is the device name and you can see here the ID and the type is Note MC 1.0 and a strategy is right now offline. Okay, no problem. I can actually connect the uh, network then actually connected. Okay, no problem. So you can see here my Wi-Fi name is already selected here. You can see here uh, this is my Wi-Fi name. I'm actually using the hotspot and this is my password. Now I need to pass here the security key. Okay, that's I copy before or you can also uh, actually open this and you can actually copy this uh, security key okay this one security key. so now you can actually pass here the security key here just it and click here to save okay no thanks i don't want to need to save that okay so you can see our wi-fi is actually uh, this one and the password is okay and security key is also okay so now you can see here it actually said that on the sketch just click on here on the sketch so now when you actually come to the sketch, you can see here some code is already generated. Okay. And also you can see here one function that's called buy it on LED change. So this function is actually generated for the changing the LED. Okay. But when you're trying to actually upload the code, you can see here no create agent connection. That's mean when we are trying to upload the code from the online to our node MC, we need to actually create one USB port that is called the create agent connections. So you need to also install this. So let's click on here on the learn more. You can see here, do you see the Arduino create agent icon on your system tray? That's mean you need to install that. So just click here to download that. Okay. So it will downloading this uh, Arduino create agent on your system. So just you need to actually click here to actually download that. And after that, you need to click, click, click and installing this. And then you can actually able to uh, actually upload the code from online to your node MCU by USB okay so make sure that you connect that so I'm going to click here okay and it will actually open in this pop-up and now let's installing this it will just take few seconds to actually install that just next 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 and next okay so you can see your setup the Arduino create agent so just click it on next I accept the permission next and next, yes, our Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Next. Okay. And you can see our event is right now launching. Just take a few seconds to actually launch that. Okay. So just click here to yes. Click on finish. Okay. So it's done right now. Okay, so our initial process is done right now. You can see a no link is appeared here. So just open here to open the full editor and it actually open in this code in the full editor. Then you will do some changes on here. Okay. So right now you can see here our editor is actually opening in the full screen mode. So now we need to do some changes on here. So if I go down, you can see here a buy it on LED change. So this function is actually help us to actually changing the value of the LED. And also our variable is nothing but the boolean. So now what you need to do, you need to actually set the pin mode. So let's say pin mode. And we are going to actually set the our LED into let's say node MCO D2 pin. And let's say pass it as the output pin because we're going to set the output here. Okay. And also we need to do some changes on the boy at on change. So how you need to do uh, go on the dashboard, how you need to designing the switches. So we have two value one or zero so that means if the led value is if the led value is equal equal to one that means our led should be on okay then we need to pass here our, our pin number d2 and make it as high but how initially take the value from the switch as the zero that means else we are going to actually make the led should be off Control C, Control P, and make it as low, simple. Okay. So now we need to actually upload the code. So in your case, you need to actually click here to select the board. But in my case, it's already selected because I do two projects before. So that's why it's already selected here. So in your case, port is already selected when actually connecting the Note MCU via your USB cable. And now you need to search for your board name. So in my case, I'm using the Note MC 1.0 USB. 12 FE module so just click on here to select the board and click it to OK and it will select the board 
So just you need to actually upload, upload and save the code. So just click here to upload the code and it will take few seconds to actually uploading the code. Okay. So when uploading is done, so I'll be back here again. So right now my uh, node MCU uh, LED is right now blinking. Uh, that's mean our code is actually uploaded here. So that's why our LED is blinking on the node MCU and also you can see here one actual progress bar. That's mean 90% is right now completed. So all right, so you can see your success. That's been saved on our online sketchboard and done uploading to the this one. So just click here to go to the IoT cloud, okay? And design our dashboard here. And just click on dashboard and you can see our status is right now online, okay? And just click here on the dashboard and build the dashboard. You can also rename this uh, dashboard name. Let's say LED controller. Okay, and you're going to add one switch first. So just add it, link a variable with our LED. And click here to done. And you can also uh, see on the mobile phone, that's how it actually look like. You can also move that. Let's say move on here and done. And also you can actually change it on here for the uh, web. Just click here to done. Okay, so our work is right now done. So if I go on the things, and you can see here, this is our things, our dashboard. This is our dashboard and our devices is right now online. And if I go on the dashboard and go on here, so I actually press the button here, it is on and off the LED, okay? So now let's see it actually working here on the mobile phone also. So now you can see here our LED is right now on. So I actually click the switch to off that and you can see here it is off again on and again off that's actually working fine so now let's see how can you do that to actually using the smartphone you're not actually controlling these uh, led from the smartphone you're actually installing this application that's called the uh, arduino it cloud on your smartphone so i'm actually using the android phone and this is see you can see here these the connections and actually you also see here one usb 2.0 so now uh, let's open this one. So now you can see here on my mobile screen, you can see here one file that is called the LED controller that actually built uh, before on our laptop. And also you need to actually, how actually opening this application. So make sure that you log in the same account that you do before on the laptop, okay? So now just click on the LED controller. And you can see here the same switch as you can see here appear here. And right now condition is right now on. So if I click here to off that and you can see here it's off. Again on. So also you can see here on the uh, windows. There's now a laptop uh, that is also on and off. The same controlling here that's off and also here is off. Okay. That means it also uh, done here on the same, uh, same, uh, same time. Again if I actually press here on and you can see it automatically on here and also our light is also on okay that's it